another day of being in a holistic space, a space of knowing deep within ourselves that we are divinely protected, knowing that in this hour, as the entire world scrambles to try to figure out how they're going to pay this bill or that bill, we're in a space of knowing that not only are we from the land and indigenous to these lands, but the lands are working with us to galvanize us, to put us in a specific frequency, to be able to vibrate at 144,000 megahertz in this hour. Times are very, very telling. But which mind portal have you been caught up in? Is it politics? Is it cryptocurrencies? Is it stagnant energies that are not conducive towards your highest good? Hmm. A lot of people like to litter, I see. I don't think the universe is very happy at that at all. Interesting enough, my baby girl and I stopped along the highway and just start picking up trash. And people were all chilling in the cars, looking next to us, and we cared nothing about that. We only were questioning them, looking at them like they were crazy, like, wow, how can you be around something so beautiful, but be content around all this trash? That is very telling about a person when their environment will speak for them in thus manner. So many people don't wanna be in your life because they know that their own personal life is messy. And if they got involved in your life, that you will see their true character. You will see who, them for who they truly are. But you don't allow that to change. You continue to be holistic. You continue to embark upon a manner of God, which is love, which is pure love, which is the ultimate love, which is holistic love, which is a place of peace. And no matter what, even though everyone's scrambling around in the world right now, trying to figure out what they're going to do, the next second, the next moment. My question to you is, what are you doing about your own personal salvation? What are you doing to get yourself closer to God? Or are you trying to see how much time you got left so you can keep playing your games? Because the person that did not wake up this morning, the same exact thing happened to them. None of us are promised tomorrow. But the thing about it is, are you taking the now moments for granted? Because these truly are the hours where whatever it is that God has given you and you've taken it for granted, it will now take you for granted. It will not, not only be able to equalize within your frequency, but it will feel repelled from your frequency because you have lack of knowledge of self and or you're doing something to repel it away from you because of your lack of ability to see it while it's right there in front of your face. And usually people truly don't realize what they have until it's gone. I know that we have taken a lot of things for granted, but this is an hour to stop doing that. Especially when it comes to pure holistic love and true relationships and true business partnerships and a true understanding and an inner peace within thyself. Not being so caught up in the latest drama or gossip, but more or less building you, who you are, what you've come into this plane of existence to, plane of existence to do, be, think, act, and feel. I didn't stutter by mistake. It's a lot to grasp in, especially when you are in a whirlwind of living in a world where so many people are governed by the system, so much to where they systematically do not even know thyself. They fear what could happen to them versus who holds the true keys to the gates of heaven and hell. This land is truly the land of Sodom and Gomorrah. It's like someone will only love you or betray love towards you as long as you are laying down with them. Wait, is it worth your soul? You can tell a lot about a person by their true characteristics of how they build their relationship with you. Are their words true? Is it their own recognizance? Is it their bond? Can they bond themselves out of trouble with you? For example, there used to be something in the courts called own recognizance, OR, where people used to be able to bail themselves out of court because they would promise a judge that they would just show up on their own recognizance just by their word, which is what a bond is. But now they switched it to the regular bonds that y'all see now, and that's a whole nother thing. 
because y'all don't even realize that y'all are the bonds. Y'all are the walking estates. And Article 1, Section 10 of the U.S. Constitution says that the judges are to uphold the estates. But y'all don't even know who you are because you can't even claim your birthright because you've allowed others to define you and misappropriate your birthrights. Therefore, you don't even know what to claim. And when you have true royalty right in front of you, you take it for granted. Not everybody else is a problem. What about you? What about how you make people feel? What about the things that you say to hurt others? But you always want someone to respect your space. What about what you're doing to be the example in which you wish to see in this world? Either way it goes, I'm gonna finish spending my day in holistic prayer, love, peace, harmony, homeschooling my baby. Just stop for a minute to give y'all some tools and jewels. If you feel in any way, shape, or form that my ministry has blessed, blessed your life in any way, feel free to donate to our ministry. Donation information is in the description box below, as well as my website. I'm available for classes for those of you who want to sign up for classes, as well as just personal messages is there as well. So chime into that, tap into that, because we truly are in wonderful times. I love you. But most importantly, love yourself and let no one allow you ever to come between you. Let no one come between you and your relationship with God. No one, nothing. It's not worth it. I love you. Most importantly, love yourself. And if the person that you're trying to deal with in any, try to, any type of matrimony, business, collection, friends, connections, whatever, if they're not in holy matrimony with God, then they will not be in holy matrimony with you. That's just what's up. That's why they don't know what to do with you. Because, truth be told, you're the real deal. And a lot of people don't want to face the truth because it causes them to stop doing others wrong. Deep connections, deep thoughts to think on this day. Most importantly, you do right no matter what. Take everything to God and know that God's got your back. I love you. Have a beautiful day. Maybe in divine.